Rough. Isso. Yo. Isso. I mean, if I, if, if I I take my mind back to back in the day when I mean, the, your your when you when you when that breakthrough jam night out came, yeah. it was you Jagu, then Fennec, yeah. and I remember our squad. It was yeah. me, you, Fennec, yeah. Kevin. Kevin yeah. Then Exdo, Exdo yeah. joined us yeah. somewhere along the line. Charlie, oh man, man, it's been a time. What you Charlie, <laughs> Charlie. So when you take your mind back to those times and all the shows, the big shows, the experiences, the people you met, and I mean all the experiences. Yeah. And you look at you now, how do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. Please get now. closer. I feel good. You know, um, I I was telling my one of my guys the other time. I've been in the game for twenty years. This is the twentieth year. All too soon. Year. Yeah, and all these twenty years, like it's been back to back to back to back. You know, bangers, performances. Yo, I feel good. I've I've paid my dues. Yeah, that's that's how I feel. Do, do you do you think you you you've been given your flowers enough? Um, you know, it's this is Ghana. You know, even Doctor Kwame and Kuma people still criticize him. So my flowers, I haven't received enough. But to myself, I, I'm I'm proud of myself. I'm what what do you expect? <laughs> I expect a lot, but you can't get everything, you know. Like what? Um, you know, I have to be recognized national nationally. You know, there there should be a national award for me. You know. For doing what? For 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 putting Ghana music, you know, on 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 on, on its toes. You know, I would, You know, when we came in the music scene, it wasn't it wasn't the same. And when when I came in, I changed everything. You know. So, I believe I deserve to be honored, officially, yeah. In this case, where are you expecting the award from? Is it from the VGMAs? Is it government? Yeah, Is it, should, it should be government. Government? Yeah. Government should applaud my, my efforts. You know, the, it's, it's been back and forth. It's been up and ups and downs, but I still keep my head afloat. And you know that's that's what I believe. In, in, in all this ownership. music, in 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 throughout this journey, what is your biggest disappointment? <laughs> um, it's it's a sad, it's a, you know one of the saddest moments. It's it's when my manager was murdered, and up to now there sh there hasn't been justice. Wait a minute, it's been what ten years? It's been ten years this year. All too soon, ten yeah, years. Yeah, ten years. Ah, Fennec was murdered in March. March. Yeah, 2004. 2004. 2014. 14, sorry. Yeah. 2014. Hey, it's too soon. Yeah. And nothing, that, that there's yeah, been no yeah, closure yeah, to no this. No closure to this. Um, yeah. Secondly, you know, I got arrested for unnecessary reasons when other people come to our country and police with police armored guards. <laughs> And, and still, they, they're doing the same thing that I was arrested for. And they go free. And they go free with police guarding them to do with them in front of everybody. You know, I have to be compensated for that disgrace that, you know, the government put on my name. What did I say? The same government you're expecting? The same. Uh, uh, th that recognition that's from... That's what I'm saying. I need to be compensated and be recognized. Because the same thing that I was arrested for and jailed for, we have... Uh, foreign nationals come into the country and even mind they don't have any proof that I was doing that. There was, there's no a shot that would, they would show that, oh, we saw Kwakesi doing this. It's a hearsay and I was jailed for it. This is the same Ghana, the same police that arrested me are now bodyguarding with guns, <laughs> guarding somebody <laughs> is who is guns? not a Ghanaian to smoke in public and it's it is live on video and everything, and that person goes scot free. If this is how it is, then I have to be compensated for the disgrace and you know what they did to me and my name. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not fair. You you, you got been, arrested for years. smoking. Yeah, they say they don't have any video to prove it. They don't have any picture to prove it. You see, but they said you were smoking. They in full said glare. I was smoking. The person, in full glare of the police, said, right said, in front of them. They, they, listen, they felt disrespected. It's, 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 there, there's two things we are discussing here. They said there's nothing to show to prove that I was. You know, I can show you proof of people, foreign nationals, in in public with police guns. You know, protecting them to smoke in public, all over the place. There's videos to it. <laughs> what he has here, so the, the the Ghana police did did not you know treat me right, and these are some of the things that I see that no the system has not been fair to me, you know. Okay, but um, did, when you were arrested, did you go to court? Yeah, there was court. I went to court. So you had a lawyer. Yeah, you had a lawyer. Yeah, I had. A so lawyer. why wouldn't you let your lawyer? Fight for that. It, we, we're gonna. We, we we will go. We will come back to that. We, you know. Now now I'm telling you. I have a lot of. I have proof. I have evidence that shows that other foreign nationals have come to do the same thing. I was jailed for, and you know they don't. I don't have a. Vi- they don't have a video of me doing that. We have a video of a foreigner doing that with the police. Same police protecting them to do it. So how are you going to defend it? The fact that your yours wasn't captured on camera. You think someone cannot have that impunity or or come and better yet be doing the same thing you were arrested for. Yeah. The fact that someone did it and went scot free with police you, with, with police, police escort, escort, you must also be compensated. I have to be compensated, yeah. So in this case, what which compensation do you request for? Um, I'm what requesting for one million dollars for um, for Ghana police, you know, putting me through that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll let my lawyers follow up with this. But I'm saying this: these things have, have dawned on me recently that, no, Ghana has not been fair to me. You know, as a Ghanaian, I've done music. I put people, you know, smiles on people's faces uh, all over Ghana. People, you know, people are happy to see me. People hear my music and they go crazy. They are happy. And you put me through this. And another foreign national comes to the country doing the same thing. And this time we protect him with police, the same police that were, you know, Rambo style are arresting me, are Rambo style protecting somebody, guarding somebody to do the same thing, which is on camera. It's, it's showing everywhere. And I think if, if that is the case, then it's, it's not fair. Ghana has not been fair to me. Folks, call Kasse. <laughs> Call Cassie right here. Me too good. Ope se wo ye tu se mi anu blue blue. Akuko ni pe ni. Ole medi medi. Odi di na suwi ya ole meni meni. Kagazi, Charlie. But you, 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 <laughs> you seem to have calmed down a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would age, you know. Yeah. How old are you now? I'm in my 40s. Oh, okay. Mid mid 40s. Mid 40s. Yeah. So what has changed? I mean, yeah, you are no older than Jay Z. Nah, but <laughs> you know, uh, responsibilities. You know, there's a lot of responsibilities now. Those days, Charlie, there was no kid. There was no, you know, like that. But now there are responsibilities. This morning, I had to drop my kid in school before I came. So imagine if I'm doing all the crazy stuff I used to do 20 years ago. You know, people will be scared of me. <laughs> do, do they watch your videos? Yeah. They know? 
Yeah, yeah, my my kids know. They do they know the father? Do they know who their father really is? My 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 little kid, you know, says Abodam and hit her. You know, the Nisa <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So it means she knows. She knows. What what do they say? Um. <laughs> you know, they go to school, the teachers are, you know, talking about me to them, you know, my some the teachers play my songs to them, you know, when I when I have an interview or when I, I do a performance that is showing where, when it's on social media, the teachers will play to them. Okay. So they come home, oh it's oh daddy, yeah, my teacher played your song. Today my teacher played and we danced to your song, you know, it makes it makes them feel good. It okay. makes them feel yeah. Do do they read your negative stories? Ah, I don't think so. They've never asked you any. Yeah, but I don't think I, 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 I you know. But you did stuff. Put, wow. I put, Listen, I, put, I, <laughs> I, you know, I worked with you. Uh, a lot of people don't even know. Okay, the Gen Zs don't know. Yeah. Our, our struggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Gen Zs don't know. Yeah. Um, for me, I, I always say the other time I was telling you, Charlie, coming there, Charlie, but me too. On the most serious note, almost every artist I've worked with had been on that stage, one artist of the year during the time I was working with them, and it's something I hit my chest and I'm so proud about. Yeah. Because at the time I worked with you, even the night I worked with you, you won, you picked up what, about six awards yeah. or six. Yeah. And Charlie, that one of our proudest moments oh, man, as, yeah. as an artist. Yeah, that's true. And. You you were all over the place back in the day. Yeah. Kwao go go do something. Charlie go here. Yeah, he's in the news <laughs> doing this. He's in the news doing that. So you did a lot of stuff. Yeah, I did. And you were in stuff. the news for all the negative reasons. Yeah, I mean the positive ones too. Which positive news were you in? <laughs> Tell me one. Uh, Give me uh, one positive uh, news. Uh, you Kesi. adopted a word at Pantai. The Kwaukesi word at Pantai. You know. It's a positive, <laughs> you know. I did a lot of donations. Is it still there? Um, I have I haven't been there for a while, but oh, so you left it to rot then? You say you left it to rot? Oh, but it's, it's been a while. Hey, so you have to go there and I see. I'll go. I'll go and see what is going. Okay, on. when you adopted it, what did you do? I painted the wall. I decorated the hall. We put TVs. We put beds. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. nice, nice. So at least you have to go and see whether all your investments went down the drain or they're functioning. I mean, it, this this is something you, did, although it was charity, but you did it with with your 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 money. Yeah. So you need to go and see it. How whether they they've managed or mismanaged it, you have to go and yeah, check. Yeah, it's been ten years. We will go. Oh, you are no longer the madman. We will go back and Charlie, you know, do something else for them. Yeah, definitely. Do you still maintain the mad brand? Of course, I'm. Mean, you know, I've brought madness in town right now. Everywhere there's madness. <laughs> kids, kids are going insane with my new song. Like there's madness in Ghana right now with my new song. So, the madness will never pass. It's, that's if, my brand. If if you, it's good you mentioned that now you, you you're aging and maturity has set in. When you take a look back and and you see your your past, yeah. do you have regrets? No. None? Never. None? Never. Really? Yeah. My past has brought me to, to, to this present, you know. Whatever I'm doing now is because of my, it's, 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 it's because of my past, so... I don't regret it. I learned from my past, but I don't regret anything. When when you listen to the news or when you read the tabloids or blogs and you see other people doing stuff that you did back in the day, yeah. What, 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 how do you react? I laugh. You laugh? I laugh, yeah. Like what? Like, oh, Charlie. That they do so? They, they, now these people reach this level. I passed a long time. <laughs> 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 you 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 <laughs> Charlie, you drop your guns now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so yeah, when I'm, you see them, I'm a, I'm a commander in chief. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> but people, people, okay, the streets think like you are no longer on the streets. Now you've mature, you've become mature, and you've moved on to a certain level. Yeah. Do you still see yourself on the streets? You know, if if you are if you come out of the street. And you don't um, 
you know, you don't encourage people or you don't become a model, role model for people to follow. You can't be on the streets all the time. Hear people, I'm street, I'm street. You are not street. Because in the night, you are sleeping in a nice house. The street is on the street. Okay. You see? So you are not street. You are driving a nice car. You don't live on the street anymore. You have been blessed. So you have to be an inspiration for those who are on the street now coming up. Because you can't stay on the street till you die. You have to aim high. You have to aim at, oh, me to having a house at East Legon or Trasaku or, you know, airport. That, is, that should be your, the aim for your streetism. You can be on the street all the time. You see, so when you move from that level to the different level, then those on the street who are also coming will look up to you and say, oh, I take inspiration from this guy. I want to get to that level too. Okay. So that people will know that no, street people are not just any people they are they can also you know you know like become successful okay. and get to some level to inspire those who are also coming so if you if you get to a level that you are not inspiring the street for them to leave the street and also make something better for themselves then you have you are not street enough you know so i graduated from the street and now i'm at a level that i want the street to get inspiration from so that they, they, it boosts their morale that they can also get there. Yeah. Did you make enemies when you were on the street? A lot. Mm. A lot. Yeah, and I made a lot of, you know, friends too. Yeah. With, with the enemies, what, what caused these enmities between you and, and them? Uh, there are some people you start with them and, um, you know, they, 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 you guys are running and they stop running, they start walking. And you try to pull them and they start crawling. You know, they are going back. You are moving forward. And it gets to a point you can't even hold your hand and, and, and run with them, crawl with them anymore. They see you as, oh, this guy made it and he's not minding me. It's not like that. You know, when the level that you get to, there are levels to all these things. You get to a level, then you meet people who are at that level and you roll with them. So if you are not serious enough, you are not ready to roll and we leave you behind, don't expect, you know, the big man to come back and look well, for some you. Some of these people came out saying that you were a sellout. I'm not a sellout. How do I sell out? <laughs> well, <laughs> just as you're saying, you left, you left them behind. Yes, I left them because you, you, are, all not of a sudden you are not serious. If I, it, it, that's my life. If, I'm not, if, if I want to break bread with you, and you, you are not ready to break the bread. Don't expect me to come to that your level. Because I am praying to God to put me to a higher level. You don't want to get to the higher level. I will definitely leave you. You see, that's how life to say. When you go to school, your, kid, your parents, oh, I see go to school. I will see I want you to be a, big, a better person in the future. I will see dresses. And instead of going to school class to learn, he joins his friends somewhere. He missed school. He comes back home. He tells his parents he went to school. Now parents find out that Akwesidas has not been to school for like a month. They He's like, been on the street. Akwesi is on the street. Now your colleagues who are in school, they thank God they've entered university. Now they come out of university. They get good jobs. Now they are big men. When you meet them, you guys are not in the same level anymore because right. you lose God. When they were pushing you, your parents were busily paying school fees. You were busily doing some unnecessary things. Now your friends make it. In, you know, they come back. They are driving big cars. They have their mansions. You are still hustling. And you think they should come down to your level and be the same with you? Nah, it doesn't work like that. Right. And they are not sellouts. Mm. On Rulus Kido said, real madman, bless up. The cream uh, profile says the king. Teteric says, speak. Obin Kingsley says, all I've been. And I said, the crowd, we know is not the crowd now. His songs at the moment sincerely makes no sense. Uh, I don't <laughs> understand. Yeah, that everybody has their opinion. So that's his opinion. When you hear these kind of comments... How do you feel? I don't I don't expect to, you know, I don't expect to be the advisor, chief advisor to advise people what to do. I'm doing a song. 
and it's entertainment. So don't expect every song I do to be something I'm not to advise you and all that. What else here? If we want if we want if we want songs that make sense, then we all should stop doing music and listen to a Jack Odimo. <laughs> <laughs> you see. Yes. You know, we drop songs, maybe the song that you are thinking is not good is somebody's favorite. And that's how it is. It will never stop. You can't, you know, we, we, we can't tell what song people should produce or people should release. Once the song is, is, is out there and making waves and people are jamming to it, that's it. Yeah. Mm. Adam Kwabna said, that's my man. General Kwagu says, Zigizi, Peacemaker says, 2000 Infinity. Velas Transfer, Sawo Yosofo is here. Charles Ewa says, Kwabu Zigizi. Senor Yevoezi says, still the love is deep, mad scene. Francis said, Sandy, God bless you for bringing my chairman. I really like him. But before he leaves, let him play me nonsense. Oh, yeah, nonsense. Really? Got it. Salim Rankin says, Kwao Morvim. Um... Kwesi Monarch says, Kwakesi is among the artists uh, that his old songs can never fade because when he played now, it's still a banger and we jump to it. And Ponsan Tebri says, the man is saying he speak with maturity, bro. Chanel Rabna says, Andy, should I bring UK14? Which one is that? Uh, oh, K14. K14. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, some, 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 some something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, it, it was on, uh, it was on, on a menu at, at KRV restaurant. I and remember. You ordered it. Yeah, we used to order K4, the K14, <laughs> K14, the B part. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Great to hear from you. Wow. Nice, nice. Taking me back in the day. After question says, man speaking some sense, man. Fifi Noir, honestly, I enjoy Cross interview. He's grown in wisdom. But to me, mad fish, mad to say, madness 247. Uh, something Kwao says, growth in its natural state will force you to make new family and wave to some old families. Africa because he said, man has matured over, over time, Andy. Chasano says, I love this man. Samuel Bolo Atagba says, Kwakese is really mature now. Bless you, Kwao Zigizi. Um, Nick, Kweku Watts, because we said, still TM Equa. I don't know what that means. And uh, Sergi Austin says, Kwao Beye. Kobe Joshua says, Great inspiration from Kwao Kesi. I love and enjoy him always. I love his growth. Man is deep. I'm Kobe Joshua, the lead blogger at kobejoshua.com. Richmond Dutch in the office. And he asked him why he's no, still not putting his younger brother on. He, his younger brother is also doing music. Yes, what happened to uh, Mut, is it Muta? Uh, Buddha. Buddha, Buddha, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, most of these questions, I wish Buddha was here so that people ask him himself because he's, he's a matured man. So um, I can't speak for Buddha. But um, but Buddha, you were managing him at the time? Or you produced him at the time? Yeah, at the but time. But you didn't manage him, you no, produced him. No, no. okay. Yeah, I produced, yeah. Um, he, he, yeah, he's, he, Buddha is still, is still there, you know, recording songs and stuff. So... But I wish, you know, one of these days, you, they, they, Buddha can, can be on the radio so most of these questions can go directly to him so he can answer. Why? What's wrong? Oh, or there's what's nothing wrong. You see, you see I'm, I'm promoting my works, and um, I think we should, we should stick to that. Because most of these people, they don't know what they're behind the scenes, so they paint a picture. And... If Buddha was here and I was here and we are talking, then people can ask him directly why he's not putting out songs. You you may, you just mentioned that Buddha is still putting out songs. I said he's still recording songs. He's still songs. recording. He's not putting out songs. Okay, so he's recording. Yeah. Do, do, your your answer or your response seem he's not really serious with what he's doing. Um. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Buddha can answer most of these questions than me because, you know, he's a big man himself. He, he's your blood brother. Yeah. 
he's a big man, so he has to answer some of these questions himself. Because at a point, it, it, it looks like he was walking in your shoes, and there, will, there can only be one madman. There can only be one Kwaukese. So could it be that you didn't do your homework as a producer and a big brother? Like, you know what? I think you need to be in, move away from the mad brand, be in suit, or move away from the mad brand, be in some Cadillac, or do this, I'll sponsor because I have the cash. Or let me be that brain and paint a certain picture to your craft. Could it be that you, you failed to do that? You couldn't uh, color it properly. You no, know, I'm, I'm. You see, I'm. I'm not Buddha. So if if you say I failed to, no, I'm could, asking could whether it be, you, yeah, yeah, could, could it be, be that I failed to do that? Um, I haven't failed to be Kwakese, and that is that is me. I'm doing me. But I don't Buddha know who shaped do, you. Buddha is doing something on his own. He is Buddha. I am Kwao. So if people want to know much about Buddha, I think Buddha has to be brought to the radio station okay. so that answer. we know what he's up to. For now, what I know is Buddha is in the studio recording a lot of songs. I don't know when those songs are going to start popping out. But, I but know what's your relationship with him anyway? He's my blood brother. I know. Yeah. But do you talk to him? All the time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. I just asked a question, but I feel like no one has ever asked you, or I've never asked you this. This your whole mad man, abodam and stuff, what informed it? It's a brand that um, people are, everybody is used to. We all see mad people on the street. We see, you know, me mentally sick people and... Um, it's something that is common. So when I was building a brand, I needed something that would catch across everywhere. And at the time that I was, uh, I was building that brand, my life compared to a madman was, there was no difference. We, I was like a madman because I used to walk around, you know, walk from Ashiaman to, to um, North Kaneshi to Hash Hash Studios back and forth. You used to walk? Oh, yeah. All the way. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, so at that time, I realized, oh, my life at, uh, then and, 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 and that of a mentally challenged person, a madman, there is no difference. It's the same. So I built my brand around that. And that's what, what, what people, people, was, people easily bought into that because it was something that is common. Like, you know, we, we all see mad people around all the time. So for somebody to be doing music and calling himself madman and acting mad, it was easy to sell. Yeah. Were well, you not shy? Why should I be shy? You know, that's my product. <laughs> that's what puts money and food on the table. You know, why should I be shy of me? Well, at a point, some people didn't want to associate with your brand. I could they all know. Yeah, and those, those I people, remember back in the day when I'm, you were... I'm doing better than those people now. <laughs> they didn't understand. They, people don't understand the brand. You see? So, back then, even if you have dreadlocks, people have problem with you. But when I, I started traveling, I saw p uh, pastors who had, who, had, who had dread. You know, so... It's, it's that people didn't understand the meaning of this brand. Now, they do. Because people go like, Oh, Akwano, Sano, Mbo, Dam, Sao. Sano, Sano, Akwano, Wabo, Dam, So, Ni, Miyan, Sao. What you say? And it's a brand. You know, it, it could be whatever. But once the brand is selling, forget about what people will be saying. This leads me to my next question. You have a beautiful wife. Did she consider you as a mad person? She married me because of I'm a Bodam. Really? Oh, yeah, of course. She, yeah, she, I know. She, she, you know, that time the madness was even the time I met her. It was it was crazy than this, you know. <laughs> and she fell for it. <laughs> no wait, I, I know your wife very well. I mean, uh, me and your wife, yeah, we, we I, go way I back, know, right? I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I never knew you guys had a thing or you guys would come meet because I knew you. I, I had a working relationship with you 
Knew she, her I knew her through my wife, mm-hmm. you know. So um, she was my wife too. She, she had been, I mean, Pugs had been a, a sweetheart or a darling from way back. Now, what did you say to charm her? Um, you know, see, see, the first time I met her, I met her um, at Rockstone's office. It was office then. Okay. Yeah, so I saw this beautiful lady. Then, you know, I, I, I wanted to talk to her, but, you know, I didn't know how they approached. I didn't know if she was by herself or with somebody. And then they were, this lady they were class. these French, French girls speaking French around. They were throwing themselves at me. But this girl was sitting, this lady was sitting there quietly. You know, so I made an approach. I thought she was French. I said, do you, do you speak English? She said, yeah. I said, oh. Then I had her speak three to somebody. I said, oh, really? Then I asked her name. Then, you know, it was time for me and my people to go take a smoke break. We went outside. <laughs> when, <laughs> when, when, we came, when I came back inside the, the, the place, she was no, not there. But I remember she, she was talking. She, came, she was sitting there with um, Scientific. Okay. So I went to Scientific's Facebook and I went through all his friends. <laughs> 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 I went through all that and I saw Nana Pukia. So I remember she said Nana Pukia. So I sent her a DM. <laughs> and I waited for like a week. Then the response came. And from there, we took it from there. No, what did you say to Chama? You still not told me. I mean... Yeah. yeah, I told you know when when we started talking, I told her I like her, you know, and all that. I wanted to see her again and all that. Well, what so, what is that one thing she never liked back in the day? She never liked with you, knowing that ah oh, this guy, Charlie, why do you eat the coffee I don't know though, but. You know, sometimes when we go out and people, other people are throwing themselves, you know, she's a lady. When other ladies are trying to, you know, do all that, it's one thing that she didn't like, but she had to take it because it's part of the, you know, the brand. You know, when you go out, ladies will come to you, everybody will come to you and go crazy with you. And she had to adapt it. Yeah. The man is saying crazy. Crazy. Kids FM 103.9. That's enough of the talk. Now let's check out Quarkes' new song. Um, yesterday I was talking to someone and he said, Yo, this this Quarkes' new song is folklore. It's something that they had been playing with in yeah, back, around yeah, back, yeah, in back in the day. Yeah. At Agnes Wedru, and yeah. the guy is very smart that he's brought it back. What informs the chorus? I will also for the open door, but Michelle. Yes, so my daughter, or the now butcher I could see from now butcher I was away. Yo, it's like um, the, the, as the, your friend was saying, I will use for that thing is like a folklore. We if you are from central region, mm-hmm. from western region, you will definitely know more about this song. But um, the thing is, we're living in a in a in a in the in the society now that. Um, people use the name of God to mislead people, mm. to, to sm- scam people and all that. So um, I decided to put a different meaning to the song. Um, so the Awoyo Sofu I'm referring to right now is like the fake pastors, the Alu prophets and all those who are using the name of God to scam people, to, you know, all that. So that is basically the story behind the song. Ever been to church? Yeah, I've been. Uh, I used to go to church. You used to? Yeah. Now you don't. Um. Now I'm looking for the best church to go. How do you determine the best and, and the worst? There's most of these churches, you know, have turned into scams. You know, the people pastors don't preach about salvation anymore. You know, we see pastors who come to drip Gucci Gucci. Gucci from head to toe and want people to see them. Pastors who are like, so they, they are like social media giants right now. 
And I don't believe in that, you know, because the Bible that I read, that doesn't tell me that, you know. So they are going um, opposite what the Bible is saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm still looking for the, the church that preaches salvation, and I will join. If, if you are to go to a church that indeed preaches salvation. Yeah. And you realize that, ah, this is the best place for me. Yeah. And the pastor advises that you change your ways. <laughs> Salvation. <laughs> Salvation is being saved. Yeah. Change those ways so you can be saved. Will you? Um, Especially, the stop the music you're doing. I know that's going to hurt. Then the, that's, not, that's not a good pastor. Then, ah, salvation. Listen, listen the, the salvation I'm talking about, nobody can save you but yourself. Then why do you so, go to church? That, that's what I'm saying. That's why now I don't, I, I'm not part of it. I'm not a member of any you still, church. You're, you said I you're looking to, for a church. Yes. Uh, f yes, I haven't gotten that church yet. But no pastor can tell me that, oh, you have to change your ways of do no 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 that that one is but for you to be saved you need to change God. your ways before even for you to be saved if you go to the uh, church of salvation they preach or salvation and all that and in your heart you don't open your heart to change the pastor cannot force change on you change starts from within from right. yourself so i don't even have to be, have to go to church to be a son of god if I'm doing, if I'm doing good, if I'm treating my neighbor as myself and not more than myself, if you know, if if that, that you're going by the Ten Commandments, yes, those are the things that you know that makes you pure in in the eyes of God. It's not about going to church. People just go to church. They go sit down. They don't even know what is in the Bible. The pastor preaches to them, and after the preaching, they are done. They don't go through the Bible themselves. They don't try to understand what is in the Bible themselves. So if, if you want salvation that way, then you are lost. Because the pastor is a human being just like you. In your heart, are you doing the, the right thing? Are you loving your, your neighbor as yourself? Are you, you know, doing all the things that you, the Bible says you have to do? If you are not doing that and you are relying just by going to church to be saved, you are lost. I see. Wow. Andy. Ziggy -zi. Allah. Uh, but you know the song, some pastors will come at you, right? Oh, some have started coming at me. I just gradually say you either you get beef. Uh, me then you get a pan. I just gradually, he do this song for you, sir. I just gradually, me say what they me. You will lose this beef, and I will come your day, come cook, <laughs> give you, make you chop. Tell him to come with me, give you. Because Kwabnesia is my guy. Uh, Aja Graja is my guy. Uh, Kwabnesia be my guy. Aja Graja. Men are not my guy. Obe lose the fight. Because be like, he record this, like two of these songs for you already. Mo, I will record them more. 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 Listeners, let's check out our Yosef for featuring Kofi Mole. Well, there are a lot of artists. Why did you choose Kofi Mole? Um, I didn't choose Kofi Mole. Um, you know, it's, it was Conti. Your yeah, producer. producer, yeah. So, I was I was out of the country, and Kofi Mole happened to be in the studio for some works with Sconti. Sconti played the song, and Mole got interested, and Sconti asked him if he wanted to be on it, and he said in within twenty minutes, Mole had killed it. Had killed it. So like he had that that thing in him. He had something to address too about these fake pastors. So. I guess when he heard the song, he just, you know, tagged. No, because, his... no, wait a minute. Mole went hard. Yeah. He went really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. far, to me, this is the hardest verse, hardest rap verse in the year, 2024. Okay. In, from Ghana, okay. right now. Okay. Maybe I'm getting issue, but we still, be... I feel I'm on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We beg you. I go beg you. I go beg you. Give no, up. Mole. <laughs> Mole, maybe I'm getting serious issue. We go sort them out. <laughs> You mole, you, you be my guy. Andy, you, you go sort that one out. No, yeah, why be kunenchi? 
<laughs> Listeners, let's check out our Yosofu featuring Kofi Mole here. It's called Kessie, produced by Sconti. Hard, hard, no hard. The B, the B, the B, the B. The song they are fat. Yo, yo, the B, the B, the B. <laughs> now there's something I like about you. Your your confidence always, like Vim D, yeah, all Vim. the time. Vim for day, Andy. Yo, Vim. Martinez, Andy. I said this guy. That thing we don't go feed him, we say we go do him. He gave him. He that your manager, Charlie Fennec, man. We've lost a guy. Yo. Yeah, man. So me who ni bad any other thing, sir. Ah, why are you the fear? That time they call me, they and they call him Abramovich. Say, <laughs> sir, you the fear? <laughs> yeah, because that he be the captain of the team, you know. So he be on our coach. Say, Charlie. I didn't So you don't I've come a long way. Oh, oh yeah. mommy, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And the, wow. was DJ. I was I was his DJ. Well, I was like his stage was, manager. Yeah. And then, then they come up with the idea. Yo, make we do this. Make we do that. Yo. Wow. Yeah. This is my first time hearing it. Yeah. Oh, mommy. Oh, I've traveled with Kwao. I've worked with him. We've Yo, we do stuff, oh, mm -hmm. but by force, you'll be to have a 10 madman. <laughs> 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 eh? Once you become part of the family. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. 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 Nice.
Yeah, Charlie, it's 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 a great comeback. When we're talking about the street, there yeah, you we're keen, Ankasa. We're keen. Um, you've impacted society very well, and for me, I'm I'm a big fan, and I like Squinty's production as well. Yes, um, I'm a big fan of Squinty. Getting Kofi Mole on this one to Charlie Solid, I now understand where Andy is coming from. That Mole really killed it. Yeah. He's, and he overkilled it. He overkilled it. Yeah. I, and I like the dance attached to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw you doing that in the studio, and I think it's crazy. It's very interesting how, um, I mean, when the song is being played and you get that dance along, it, it makes it very exciting. So um, all I would say is just keep bringing as a banger. I mean, Kwakesi cannot die. I mean, the brand Kwakesi, you've come a long way and. In fact, you have the grounds. My question is, um, recently, you followed Hammer and Manche. Yeah. Yeah, the back and forth. What do you make of it? Um, I think it's, it's, it's all um, the structures of the industry because, um, you know, Manche, Manche's voice is on the songs that, that brought all the, 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 the whole situation, right? Uh, if we had structures in place where each of them were getting their splits, you know, we wouldn't get to where it has gotten to. So I'm, I'm hoping that we can start putting structures in place in the industry so that stuff like that don't happen. Um, one thing I'm happy is that I'm happy that, about the whole situation is that Manche, Hammer and Obrafo are still in good terms. That is what makes me happy. You know, uh, they didn't let this issue, this because it's a legal issue and the black back and forth, separate their the, the love that they have for each other. You know, we come we come we come from a way you know long time way back. Mm-hmm. They've done great things together, and they shouldn't let this legal issues, you know, put them. You know, they they, they should still still stick together. Hammer hasn't stopped producing, Manche hasn't stopped. You know, doing this thing, or Bravo hasn't stopped doing this thing. We still need the love, and I'm glad that they still keep the love going despite their legal issues. Okay. Mm. Adam? Yeah, big ups, big ups. Wow. Big up, Adam. I think I, I, I you know, I'm all, I, I was also born in Swedro, oh, okay. Swedro, so I'm an Agona Swedro brother. Oh, okay. It, it, it was an exciting news somewhere in 24. 204, when we heard that one of our own has broken to that mainstream stage. I mean, it was a good news because, you know, where I used to come close to your house at Mount Hoje. Oh, okay. You know, your yeah, baby, that yeah, macho yeah, man. baby, macho guy. Yeah, yeah. he was my Red Cross uh, boss. Oh, okay. So I knew your place, your logo. Yeah. You know? So it was it was a good news for most of us who were coming from that side of, of, I mean, the country. And, I mean, from 204 to now... You, you, even if the fire keeps get doused, you rekindle it. I mean, to to push up, which I'm happy for. I think this our use of a song is, it is your madman vibe. I mean, this song allows you to do your madman things. Yeah. You know, it has that flexibility. Yeah. For you to explore all those wild, I mean, imagination. So I think it offers you an opportunity to be a lot creative in your content creation approach to create awareness. So I will urge you and the team to go outside the box and create a lot of things out because the song is already catching fire. Yeah. So you need more creativity to be able to make it happen. I've seen a couple of videos coming from people and your, your involvement in making sure that people hear all those things coming out of the song. And I will urge you that, please, don't douse the fire. Keep going. Be creative, and you will get it louder. My final part is because I have some sort of affinity to Swedro. I wasn't happy some time ago when I, I felt that it seems there were some uh, not so cool energies between you and some of the factions in there. And I'm sure once it, oh, some time ago. You organize a program and, I mean, the outcome and all of that. Uh, what is the situation with, with 
with the people of Suedru, most of the guys you've been in touch with? What, what is it? Because I'm a Suedru boy, and I, I really have interest in that. Um, you know, the, 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 we, we, that's why we have political parties. You know, people have opinions, and opinions can't always be the same. You know, so those people who have um, negative opinions or, like, opposed to my opinions, they have their opinions, and I respect that. But there's only one king when it comes to music in Suedro, in the central region, even in Ghana as a whole. But I don't see myself as a, a musician from Suedro anymore. I see myself as a Ghanaian musician representing Ghana on a bigger scale. Um, you know, there's been this back and forth. And um, as I'm saying, if I'm growing and you don't want to grow with me, I cut you off. You see? So there are some people who didn't want to grow with me, and I cut them off, and they got offended. It's, it's not the bad way. It's, it's a positive way to, to help me and my people move ahead, because we can't always go back. And those people were not happy, so they decided to champion their own cause. But recently we had a show at the... Um, the um, Sin City, a new club that has come from Suedro. Yo, people call me, they, they go like, wow, the love is too much. You see, they can't take the love from, from, from you know, you, you cannot hate me as if somebody from Suedro because I'm the biggest musician export. to come out here, yeah, export from Suedro. You have to be part of it, you know, and now we have the hottest song in the country right now. So imagine if you have hated me, you know, all these years. There are people that I have helped, people that have held their hands to try to put them on. They are the people who are now going against me. And hearing my new song banging everywhere, you will be put to shame because you go to the place to have a drink and they are playing a way of And you hate the man. How would you feel? I don't, I don't hate anybody from Suedro. I'm not fighting with anybody because it's a waste of time. If you have beef with me and I don't know, let me know so we squash it. Yeah, but aside that, I love my people from Suedro. That's where I was born and bred, and I will never turn my back on them. AG, finally, this, if you come from Suedro and it environs, I mean, this our use of a story yeah. is, is it's, well grounded there. Yeah. Because of that, I think you really need to go on, on that grounds to be able to ensure you cement it. I mean, there are media platforms there, there are streets, one promotion you can do because people there resonate a lot with the story. Yeah. And if they come together and hold it up, the whole world will hear. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, um, no, yeah, we, are, we have, we have next week, we're going on a road tour um, from Suedro, Cape Coast, Takwa, yeah, the, the, the whole, yeah, the whole, yeah. yeah so. We're doing that next week. Uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Mm. Okay, Kwao. <clears throat> so what's new now? Uh, the, the video is out. Yeah, the video came with a song. Nice. And uh, already, How's it doing? Already we have, it's, it's, it passed 100,000 views. Uh, I think we are now at 130,000 views in four days. It's doing massive, you know. It's The, vid, the song is doing, it's extremely massive, you know, like, all the, all the networks that the songs are on, I check the numbers, yo, it's too much. And I thank God that, um, you know, we brought another one out. Mm. Secondly, um, I'm working on my album, um, my, the King Kesey the First, King Kesey the First, that's the, 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 the next album. I, the I will use of who is going to be on it. And um, yeah, that's what we're working on now trying to get some good artists on it. So far, we have some good ones, some top-of-the-top top artists from Ghana on it. We are trying to get some international, one or two international features, and the album will be ready. So, mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, Ashes says, always proud of Kwao. He's been determined from day one to break boundaries. I'm proud to say I'm one of those who gave him his first studio time in Taifa. Hard guy, dope tune. Okay. Uh, you know Ashes, right? Yeah, Ashes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Nana Dubuafu Jr. Nana, unkwansu, Nana Piao. Oh, hene, Yamishao. Yeah. Oh, Lexus Bill. Shout out to Lexus. <laughs> Why do you laugh? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I just, you know, Lexus in dance level. <laughs> <laughs> 
Na no be as the first. Be as the first. Yeah. 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 Like this, why everybody the dance go left? Here, no go dance go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh oh. Shout to you, Ken Kennedy in Japan. Kennedy Japan Junior. How you doing, Ken? Oh, much more respect, Ken. It's been a while, my brother. Great. Okay, Kwao. Wow. So thank Andy. you very much. Now. It, the song is out. Yeah, the song is out. On so where do we platforms. get all platforms? All platforms. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we already did hundred thousand streams on our audio mark. You know, we we doing numbers. The song is doing numbers. So, um, add your number to it, please. You guys go out there, stream the songs, call your DJs to play the song. You know, let the song go out there. You know, this is the song that is gonna bring Ghana the Grammys. So, let's all put. You know, our energy and push it hard, you know. Mm. Yeah. Great. On X, Jerry Bright says, Sensible Mad. I guess it's talking huge sense on its FM. Sensible Mad. I like that. Benny Dog Benda says, Kwao, it's, it's been a while. I heard Monkey the Work Babu the Chop by Kwakese. Please drop that song before he leaves. So last he said, Greetings to the Awayo Sofu Kwakese. Please, what has Kwao has to say about the current situation of his former label mate Agbeko? And what's the best advice he has for upcoming artists? Please, you should try to help Agbeko for us. Ever heard? Of, have you heard about the situation? Um, I read something about that. Um, but um, what I would say is that you you have to stay away from drugs. Is he doing drugs? I don't know, yeah, but he yeah, admitted I, the I, I heard he something like that. Giovanni. You know, oh. so if... Yo, yo! I've been in this game for twenty years. People, you know, people say, "Oh, I want to, I want to grow." What you say, yo? The only thing I do that I did is what got me arrested. Apart from in Tampeno, me ye bibia, me try bibia da, and even that one, I have, I have. What you say? You have the. I have. You have day. Oh, it's okay. The, 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 word, the word is not coming. But uh, I, I will, if the word is... Hold on. I will advise the youth. <laughs> wow, wow. It's true. Wow. It's true. Guys, please. please. I have slowed down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm beat you, Philip. I have a boy. It's slow down. So make the youth slow down. I thought you were going to say you stop. I have slowed down. <laughs> <laughs> if senior slow down, the junior. So, be, um, you know, Andy, uh, hey, before wow. before we go, I want to use your medium, um, to call on Asaka and Kweku Smoke wherever I try reaching you guys out. Wherever you are, you guys respond to my DMs. We need to work. But I say you have to be on King Kesi album. So, uh, J Bad. Any old domino Kumasi, I'm coming to Kumasi. You guys get ready. Who do you need? Okay, so you need J Bad. I need the whole, yeah, J Bad and his Asaka squad. We we have to put something on the King Kesi album because Charlie, my Kumasi people, they've been. Have asking. you spoken to J Bad? I tried reaching him, um, but uh, I'm not getting through to him. That's okay. why I'm using your medium. No problem. I, I, I will arrange for that. J Bad is my son. Oh, okay. Uh, I will, uh, yeah. I mean, he, I, I will arrange for it. Yeah, yeah. Because the Kumasi phone had me say, Charlie, well, we need something with you and Asaka. So, okay. Yeah, let's make it happen. Righty. Okay, folks, that'll be all for now. We're coming to talk.